Mitchell Ney, first Duck Delchingen, first Prince de la Moscova, popularly known as Marshal Ney, was a French soldier and military commander during the French Revolutionary Wars and the Napoleonic Wars. He was one of the original 18 marshals of the empire created by Napoleon. He was known as Le Rouge by his men and nicknamed Le Brave des Braves by Napoleon. Early life Michel Ney was born in the town of Saint-Louis along the French-German border. He was the second son of Pierre Ney, a master barrel cooper and veteran of the Seven Years' War, and his wife Margareta Grulinger. He was the paternal grandson of Matthias Ney and wife Margareta Becker, and the maternal grandson of Valentin Gruelinger and wife Margaretha Ding. His hometown at the time of his birth comprised a French enclave in a predominantly German region of Saarland, and Ney grew up bilingual, due to his German roots. He was educated at the College des Augustins, became a notary in Saint Louis and then subsequently became an overseer of mines and forges. Military career French Revolutionary War's life as a civil servant did not suit Ney, and he enlisted in the Colonel General Hussar Regiment in 1787. Ney rapidly rose through the non-commissioned ranks. He served in the Army of the North from 1792 to 1794, with which he saw action at the Cannonade of Valmy, the Battle of Neerwinden, and other engagements. Ney was commissioned in October 1792, transferred to the Army of Samba Amuse in June 1794, and wounded at the Siege of Mainz. Ney was promoted to General de Brigade in August 1796, and commanded cavalry on the German fronts. On 17 April 1797, during the Battle of Neuwed, Ney led a cavalry charge against Austrian lances trying to seize French cannons. The lances were beaten back but Ney's cavalry were counter-attacked by heavy cavalry. During the melee, Ney was thrown from his horse and made a prisoner of war. On 8 May he was exchanged for an Austrian general. Following the capture of Mannheim, Ney was promoted to general of division in March 1799. Later in 1799, Ney commanded cavalry in the armies of Switzerland and the Danube. At winter the Ney received wounds in the thigh and wrist. After Ney's recovery, he fought at Hohenlinden under General Morrow in December 1800. From September 1802, Ney commanded French troops in Switzerland and performed diplomatic duties. Napoleonic Wars On 19 May 1804, Ney received his Marshal's Baton, emblematic of his status as a Marshal of the Empire. The Napoleonic era's equivalent of Marshal of France. In the 1805 campaign, Ney took command of 6th Corps of the Grand AAR Army Acuity and was praised for his conduct at Elchingen. In November 1805, Ney invaded the Tyrol, capturing Innsbruck from Archduke John. In the 1806 campaign, Ney fought at Jena and then occupied Erfurt. Later in the campaign, Ney successfully besieged Magdeburg. In the 1807 campaign, Ney arrived with reinforcements in time to save Napoleon from defeat at Eylau, although the battle ended in a draw. Later in the campaign, Ney fought at Gutstadt and commanded the right wing at Friedland. On 6 June 1808, Ney was created Duke of Elchingen. In August 1808, he was sent to Spain in command of VI Corps and won a number of minor actions. In 1809, he routed an Anglo-Portuguese force under Sir Robert Wilson at Banyas. In 1810, Ney joined Marshal Massena in the invasion of Portugal, where he took Ciudad Rodrigo from the Spanish and Almeida from the British and Portuguese, brusquely defeated a British force on the River Coa, and fought at Busaco. During the retreat from Torres Vedras, Ney engaged Wellington's forces in a series of lauded rearguard actions through which he delayed the pursuing enemy forces long enough to allow the main French force to retreat unmolested. He was ultimately removed from his command for insubordination. Russia to Fontainebleau Ney was given command of Third Corps of the Grand AAR Army Acute during the 1812 invasion of Russia. At Smolensk, Ney was wounded in the neck, but recovered enough to later fight in the central sector at Borodino. 
During the retreat from Moscow, Ney commanded the rear guard. After being cut off from the main army, Ney managed to rejoin it, which delighted Napoleon. For this action Ney was given the nickname, the bravest of the brave, by Napoleon. Ney fought at Beresina and helped hold the vital bridge at Kovna, where legend portrays Ney as the last of the invaders to cross the bridge and exit Russia. On 25 March 1813, Ney was given the title of Prince de la Moscova. During the 1813 campaign Ney fought at Battle of Eisenfels, was wounded at Lutzen, and commanded the left wing at Bautzen. Ney later fought at Denovitz and Leipzig, where he was again wounded. In the 1814 campaign in France, Ney fought various battles and commanded various units. At Fontainebleau Ney became the spokesperson for the Marshal's Revolt on 4 April 1814, demanding Napoleon's abdication. Ney informed Napoleon that the army would not march on Paris. Napoleon responded, the army will obey me, to which Ney answered, the army will obey its chiefs. When Paris fell and the Bourbons reclaimed the throne, Ney, who had pressured Napoleon to accept his first abdication and exile, was promoted, lauded, and made a peer by the newly enthroned Louis XVIII. Although Ney had pledged his allegiance to the restored monarchy, the Bourbon court looked down on him because he was a commoner by birth. The Hundred Days campaign when he heard of Napoleon's return to France, Ney, determined to keep France at peace and to show his loyalty to Louis XVIII, organized a force to stop Napoleon's march on Paris. Ney also pledged to bring Napoleon back alive in an iron cage. Napoleon, aware of Ney's plans, sent him a letter which said, in part, I shall receive you as I did after the Battle of the Moscova. Despite Ney's promise to the king, he joined Napoleon at Auxerre on 18 March 1815. On 15 June 1815, Napoleon appointed Ney commander of the left wing of the Army of the North. On 16 June Napoleon's forces split up into two wings to fight two separate battles simultaneously. Ney attacked Wellington at Catra Bras while Napoleon attacked Blutcher's Prussians at Ligny. Although Ney was criticized for not capturing Catra Bras early, there is still debate as to what time Napoleon actually ordered Ney to capture Catra Bras. At Ligny, Napoleon ordered General Derlone to move his corps to the Prussians' rear in order to cut off their line of retreat. Derlone began to move into position, but suddenly stopped and began moving their way, much to the surprise and horror of Napoleon. The reason for the sudden change in movement is that Ney had ordered Derlone to come to his aid at Catra Bras. Without Derlin's corps blocking the Prussians' line of retreat, the French victory at Ligny was not complete, and the Prussians were not routed. At Waterloo Ney again commanded the left wing of the army. At around 3.30 p.m., Ney ordered a mass cavalry charge against the Anglo-Allied line. Ney's cavalry overran the enemy cannons, but found the infantry formed in cavalry-proof square formations. Ney, without infantry or artillery support, failed to break the squares. The action earned Ney criticism, and some argue that it led to Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo. Debate continues as to the responsibility for the cavalry charge and why it went unsupported. Ney's cavalry also failed to spike enemy cannon while they were under French control. Ney's cavalry carried the equipment needed to spike cannons and spiking the cannons would probably have made them useless for the rest of the battle. The loss of a large number of cannon would have weakened the army and could have caused the Anglo-Allied force to withdraw from the battle. Ney was seen during one of the charges beating his sword against the side of a British cannon in furious frustration. During the battle he had five horses killed under him, and at the end of the day, Ney led one of the last infantry charges, shouting to his men, Come see how a marshal of France dies. 
It was as though Ney was seeking death, but death did not want him, as many observers reported. Execution. When Napoleon was defeated, dethroned, and exiled for the second time in the summer of 1815, Ney was arrested. After a court-martial declared itself incompetent, he was tried for treason by the Chamber of Peers. In order to save Ney's life, his lawyer Dupin declared that Ney was now Prussian and could not be judged by a French court as Ney's hometown of Sarah Louis had been annexed by Prussia according to the Treaty of Paris of 1815. Ney ruined his lawyer's effort by interrupting him and stating, I am French and I will remain French. On 6 December 1815, he was condemned and executed by firing squad in Paris near the Luxembourg Garden on 7 December 1815, an event that deeply divided the French public. He refused to wear a blindfold and was allowed the right to give the order to fire, reportedly saying, Soldiers, when I give the command to fire, fire straight at my heart. Wait for the order. It will be my last to you. I protest against my condemnation. I have fought a hundred battles for France, and not one against her. Soldiers, fire. Knee's execution was an example intended for Napoleon's other marshals and generals, many of whom were eventually exonerated by the Bourbon monarchy. Ney is buried in Paris at Père Lachaise Cemetery. Family. Ney married Agla Acute Louise Augier at Thiver Valgrignon on 5 August 1802. Agla Acute was the daughter of Pierre C. E. Acute Sar Augier and Adelaide Henriette Janet. Her paternal grandparents were Pierre C. E. Acute Sar Augier and Marie Guerry. Her maternal grandparents were Edme Acute Jacques Jennet and Marie Anne Louise Cardin, who were the parents of Edmund Charles Jennet and Jean Louise Henriette Campen. Nay, and his wife had four sons Joseph Napoleon's second prince de la Moscova. Married Albine Lafitte in Paris on 26 January 1828, by whom he had issue. The male line of his descendants is now extinct. Joseph also had an illegitimate son who was married without issue. Michel Louis Felix, recognized as second Duc Delching in 1826. He married Marie Josephine Suham in Paris on the 19th of January 1833, by whom he had issue, with the male line becoming extinct in 1969. Eugene Mitchell, who died unmarried and without issue. Edgar Napoleon Henry, recognized as third Prince de la Moscova 1857, who married Clotilde de la Roche Lambert in Paris on the 16th of January 1869 but died without issue. The title of Prince de la Moscow then reverted to Michel's issue. He was related to Hubert Ney. In film, Ney has been portrayed by a number of actors throughout the years, by Dan O'Hurley High in Waterloo from 1970 and Carl DeVote in Waterloo from 1929, by Colin Bean in the episode A Soldier's Farewell of the British sitcom Dad's Army by Alan Duty in the miniseries Napoleon, by Russian actor Alexander Stepanov in the Russian propaganda film Kutuzov from 1944, by John Baker in the British series War and Peace, 